Hello everybody, how are we doing this fine morning? I say morning, it's 1041, girl, it's almost afternoon. Basically it's afternoon, I don't care. I've used up so much space on my camera that I literally can only make a video that's like 20 minutes long and I'm over it. I did a boxy charm unboxing yesterday, my damn camera shut off. Ugh, made me so angry over it already. Ooh, why do I look so crazy today? With my little, with my little nude colored lipstick. Just living my most simplest life. Well, guys, here's the thing. Today is a great day. I have a very easy day today. I am doing a color and then two haircuts. Mom is done for the day. Nope, just kidding. Gotta go tan. <laughs> Every time I think, I'm like, oh, no, I'm done for the day. No, girl. No, 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 because you paid $58 to go tanning, so... That's what you're going to do every day, at least Tuesday through Saturday when you make your videos and you head off to work. You're going to tan because we are not wasting that tanning membership. I'm getting pretty dark. I'm very, um, I'm, I'm very proud of myself. I put on all my sunscreen and my, um, uh, you know, uh, UV protection, uh, from my face because I don't want my face uh, getting any kind of sun damage. So I, I do the sunscreen, uh, then I also put a towel over my face, then I also do goggles. So, uh, yeah. She really tries to take care of her face. I told you guys, we only get one, one skin. You know what I'm saying? That's all we get. So if you destroy that skin or you ruin that skin, then you know, you'll be 40 years old with wrinkles looking like you're 75. I'm just saying. Um, I like using my serums and I like using my skincare routine, you know, stuff. I wash my face twice a day. I take really good care of my skin. Um, I wasn't always this way, but I really, I'm very strict on taking care of my, uh, my skin in my 30s because it means a lot to me. Oh, that ain't it really does mean a lot to me. I saw the freaking coolest dog the other day, and they had, I think it, they had shaved him to where it looked like he had a suit on. It was so cute. Well, and he, um, it was for the uh, president's birthday, and he said, happy birthday, Mr. President. And then it was this poodle with looked like a suit. It was so freaking cute. It was just like... And I said, I love that dog. And my buddy was like, I will come deliver him. Seriously, you can have him. And I'm like, I can't. <laughs> I can't keep your dog. Because, do you, could you imagine what my two dogs would do? Oh, my God. Well, number one, I don't think Trey's ever been around a female in his entire life. And he's like eight years old. Deuce, he knows exactly what females are. He tried to knock one up once before I had his nuts clipped. But, uh. Yeah, he hasn't seen a female, I don't, in a, in a long time. Like, I think the last time he saw a female was maybe at the dog park that we got banned from. Yeah, we did get banned. Long story, I don't want to get into it. Anyways, let me uh, crack this Red Bull real quick. I'll be right back. Sorry, back to what I was saying. I went out to, I just now, I went and tried to like pop the top on my, look at that damn highlighter real quick. Jesus, hold on, did I catch it? That purple. She can't be beat. Anyways, I just went to pop the top on my liquid lipstick. That thing shot out at me like a rocket. Like, I went to go unscrew it, and it literally was like, BOOM! Like, right in my hand. I'm like, clearly you need to be on my lips if you're shooting out of your container to get in my hands. Crazy. Ray Z. What is that? I thought there was a very large bug on my, um, excuse me, window just now. You guys, let me tell, ugh, I don't like that peach. It's disgusting. Gross. Mm. Mm. God, I've had the watermelon for so long. I hate this. Ugh. 
So gross. Um, ew. Anyways, uh, I, what the hell was I saying? I can't even think about what I was saying now. Um, talking about my makeup and how it shot out. I guess I've had this little... Oh, yeah, the bug. Duh, that's what the hell I was talking about. Where am I? Is there a street sign somewhere? One street sign at a four-way. That doesn't seem right. Uh, I hate this. I hate every effing bit of this. I don't like this. <laughs> Ugh. And here's another thing. Why do you just throw your mattresses out of the street? Ew, hold on. I mean, do you think people are going to come pick them up once they've been rained on and bugs got all in them? Like, no. Why do you put those out of the street? I was talking about this with my mother-in-law. Instead of making shit, shit super cheap cheaply made why don't you make something that lasts a really long time then we wouldn't pollute the planet with as much crap you see what I'm saying because they make stuff so cheaply made so, so, such, so cheaply now that it falls apart we throw it away we have to buy a new one I've washed my mother-in-law go through three sets of washer and dryers and it's because they're all these Samsung ones and no offense but the only thing good that Samsung makes is a TV or a phone that's it their, their refrigerators suck I have one it's the absolute worst um, their washer and dryer sucks my mother-in-law can attest she can prove that um, she bought two and they both suck both sets thinking maybe she just got a bad set so she got a same brand different uh, model I guess no, it sucked too. It was it was terrible. It's like, oh God, please don't spill my car. I do not want that artificially flavored peach flavor in my car. Gross. Um, oh, look, I'm talking shit as I sit here and drink it. I hate this. I hate every bit of this. This is the devil. Oh, uh, it's so gross. Why? 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 Ugh, I think I used to like that. Blech. Um. But yeah, if they would just make things like with, you know, better quality, like I know right now this is not on everybody's top five, but Jeffree Star doesn't make shit makeup, okay? He makes good quality makeup because people aren't going to return it and they're going to keep coming and buying more of it and they'll use it. Cadillac, they build good quality stuff. It costs more. But it's good quality. It doesn't fall apart. My dad has had a Cadillac Escalade, I swear, for like 13 years. I'm pretty sure it's either 12 or 13 year old car. It still runs like a dream. There's nothing wrong with it. Now, my refrigerator's two years old. Two years. Two years. And I've had problems with it, like, literally since day one. I hate that freaking thing. And honestly, honestly, when I go to buy a new one after we pay these damn couches off that we bought, maybe, I don't know, a few months ago, these leather couches, this, you know, our living room set. After we pay that off, my man don't know this, but I'm going to talk him into buying a new refrigerator and I'm getting rid of that because that thing sucks so bad. <laughs> Guess what? My in-laws, they just bought a Samsung and I'm like, wish you wouldn't have, that thing sucks. <laughs> It's terrible. It's literally the worst. Literally the worst. The absolute worst. It's, it's not as cold as the old school uh, refrigerators. Like, nothing freezes in there anymore. I think they have, like, some kind of special technology that's supposed to do the same thing. No! I want stuff to freeze. That's why it's called a freezer, because it freezes things. I don't want no special technology that's going to make it like, oh, well, it won't take as long to thaw out your things due to this new cryo technology. It's going to make it uh, freeze without actually forming ice around it. What the hell? No. No. What I want 
is a freezer. Give me one of those 1990 damn refrigerators. I guarantee you that thing will never go out. And if it does, what's the parts? The parts gonna cost me ten dollars to fix it. That's cool. I'll take that. You know what I mean? Like, just wears me out, man. I swear. They make stuff so freaking cheap nowadays, and it just kills me. And it kills me because it's like 10 times the price. Like, literally, my dryer... Oh, shit. Slow on down for this trooper so you don't pull me over, she. See how quick to change it up when I put the phone down, too. See, no, I'm not looking at the phone. He sees my phone. He's don't think I'm on it, so... Uh... Oh, he's got them pulled over. He doesn't care about me. He's like, what's your name again? I don't care. Um, like every time I pass them, they always turn their lights off. It's very strange. Notice that. Anyways. Um, what the hell was I saying? Oh, my dryer is, I think, on the brink of going out. And I'm was literally debating about buying a new dryer, but then it falls under that category of like, I'm not buying something that's cheaply made. So I've tried to call all these repairmen around me and nobody wants to return my phone calls, my text messages, or my damn Google, ma like nobody. I don't know why. I don't know why. If that's your job, do your job. It's not like, you know, I got an appointment to do somebody's color and I just don't even show up like, oh well. Like that is just bizarre. And it's weird because it's so many freaking, every, it's all these like mobile repairmen. They never show up. They never show up. Never. Never. My mother-in-law told me about a company and I'm going to call them. We'll see how they do. It's called Anthony's and it's in Midwest City. So, um, we're going to see how they do. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I've called like six places and text and in Google messages. Guess how many's come like return my calls? Guess how many's return my messages? Guess how many return my Google messages? So as you can see my expectations are, are very low. So if I even get a response back I'll be shut to the core, girl. Over it. Fucking over it. That's a that right there is a complete contradiction in itself. I guarantee you. Do they work for the people who are building all these washers and dryers and refrigerators and dishwasher? Because to try and fix your stuff, you can't get a hold of them. So then you have to buy another one because you can't get a hold of a repairman to fix your stuff so that way you don't have to buy a new one because yours is well built. Yada, yada, yada. I don't even know the name brand of my dryer, but I know it works before it got messed up, it's working good, so I don't know, I'm frustrated tell you another thing though, I don't want to go out and spend $800 on buying a new dryer $800 $800 you feel me and they got all these extra things in there like oh well, this one's gas powered and it emits steam and doesn't use electric, like there's just like, there's so much, like did you start your laundry and forget about it? Leave for eight hours? That's okay. Our new dryer. Hi, stay in your lane. Thanks. Our new dryer will keep your clothes tumbling for up to eight hours. You just come back and get them when you're ready. Who in the hell starts laundry and then leaves for eight hours? That kind of doesn't really make sense now, does it? I hope I don't get pulled over. That would suck. I did pass that cop though way back there, so I don't know. I, I'll i tell you something. I gotta get rid of this damn Red Bull, because this thing sucks, man. Bad. This peach, ugh, terrible. The, you know what I just realized? That's even worse. I have one more in my refrigerator. I'm gonna go and trash that freaking thing. God, it's disgusting. It's so gross. Oh. So... A friend of mine told, or, uh, a friend and a client of mine told me that, um, that's beautiful. It's, it's like an entrance to a brick neighborhood, kind of off in the middle of nowhere. Um, a, but a friend of mine told me that there's some family that I think lives in Moore, 
and their daughter needed like a heart surgery or something and so they asked these fine citizens of Moore, Oklahoma to collect their cans and she does it like every two weeks and so I told her I said look I drink Red Bulls okay if that's the case um, I will absolutely save these cans I'm fixing to go and just dump this one out save the can call it a day this thing, I'm telling you guys this thing is gross I have never I don't know why I used to drink these and like these they're disgusting it's the peach one Ugh! here we go oh it never gets better it never gets better hi get over I know you just look just get over and quit being a jerk Don't you love whenever people do courteous things on the highway? Like, you're go oh, this guy's drunk. Oh, oh, Lord. Or he's just an angry driver. I don't, I can't tell, I can't really tell. His truck's wrecked. Um, he's driving on the shoulder. I better just, let me just ease on back, slow down, let this phone go ahead. This guy's crazy, you guys. But I love it whenever people drive on the highway, and if they're going slower than everybody else, then they get over. Then you got those a-holes that literally, um, quite literally, uh, don't know what's going on, and so they just stay in the fast lane going 62. And I'm just like, who are you? Like, get over here and waste of time. This guy's driving on the friggin' show. I like to drive by people and just kind of look at them. Like, hey, what are you doing over there? Oh, God, now he's behind me. Uh-oh. Please go. What? Um, see? You see? See? I started complaining about people not doing um, polite driving and now here we are, now I'm stuck behind somebody that's literally going like 10 under what I was just driving. Sir, please go. Please. Dear God, please. Well, I'm almost to work and I'm excited because I'm doing a deep, 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 deep violet. I am thoroughly excited for that. Thoroughly excited. I cannot wait. Um, I guess I'm going to hop off here get into my defensive driving here because this guy is just going slower than molasses in the winter. There's this guy next to me. He's lost his mind. He's completely crazy. With a wrecked truck. Oh, he's going to cut this guy off. <gasps> Please don't cut him off. Oh, this guy's going to be a jerk. See? I'm going to... You guys, actually, I'm going to keep the phone on. Oh, he's rolling down his window. What the fuck? It's okay. It's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. You guys, let me get away from these people because they're crazy and I got to go. So with that said, I love you guys so very much. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, I'll be back tomorrow to make another one and uh, leave a like, leave a comment, you know, all that good stuff. But I love you and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.